Hello all, welcome to the Security Tube Linux Assembly Expert course and certification introduction video. My name is Vivek Ramachandran and I will be your course instructor for the SLE. Now in this introduction video, I wanted to tell you briefly about what the course is, what we will cover and what to expect from it once you successfully finish it. So SLAE is basically geared at teaching you 32-bit assembly for the Intel architecture 32 family of processors on the Linux platform. Now make no mistake, this is not simply just an assembly language programming course. Rather, this is geared towards InfoSec and will look into how you can apply your newly learned Linux assembly skills to topics such as shell coding, uh, writing encoders, decoders, scripters, and other low-level applications which require a decent mastery over assembly language. Now, we will be starting absolutely from scratch, which is I would teach you how to write the first Hello World program, uh, then we would move on to more challenging items such as you know writing loops uh, or probably going ahead and even writing code for FPUs, MMX and all of that. Uh, but keep in mind I've made this video series that is this course very very beginner friendly just like all my other courses. So if you do not have any prior programming experience in assembly or in other languages, you should still be able to pick up this course pretty okay. Okay, let me run you through the course syllabus. Now, I will talk about the very basics of computer architecture, move on to the IA32 and 64 family of processors, uh, from where we will look at compilers, assemblers, linkers, and then the different CPU modes and addressing schemas. Now, this is a very hands-on practical course and we are going to be using a lot of tools such as NASM, LD, Object Dump, NSDSASM and a bunch of others. Now, after we look at all of these basics of setting up the environment, understanding how the Linux operating system works in conjunction with the CPU, then we will go ahead and look into IA32 assembly language and create simple programs to run on the Linux OS. IA32 language would include understanding of the registers and flags, program structure, data types, how do you move data back and forth between CPU, memory and all of that, uh, reading and writing to and from memory, conditional statement, loops, function, prologues, epilogues, procedures, exceptional handling, and a bunch of other things. Then we would look at things specific to Linux, such as how to use the syscall interface, uh, then after that interrupt AT and all of that stuff, and then move on to some uh, more advanced stuff, which is using the FPU, MMX, SSC, and SSC2, and writing assembly using their instructions. Now, as you can see, the first part of the course is clearly geared towards providing you all the basics you require to understand on how to write assembly language for 32-bit systems. Now, the second part of the course essentially deals with applying all the knowledge you've gained to the domain of information security. This is where we will start from the very basics of shell coding on Linux. Uh, look at how do you go get running with an execution environment, create actual shell code from scratch for exec, ex exit, uh, bind and reverse TCP shell, state shell code, egg hunters. How do you use shell code from third party sites and understand how they work so you might have seen a lot of shell code on exploit DB uh, and a bunch of other websites. How do you understand what's going on in them 
and use them effectively. Uh, simulating shell code, how do you locate the different system calls? Uh, how do you graph what is happening inside shell code for better understanding? And then we will move on to encoders, decoders, and cryptors, uh, which is probably one of the most interesting topics out there uh, from a low level assembly applied to InfoSec perspective. Now, many of you have used Metasploits, Zor, Shikataga Nai, encoders uh, to evade AVs and to do a bunch of fun stuff. But what goes into writing your own encoders, decoders, and cryptors? This is exactly what this part of the course will look at, uh, where you will learn how to write your own encoders and even go far beyond looking at existing encoding schemas to actually creating your own custom encoders, right? Which could use random sequencing, other mathematical functions and things like that. From there on, we will touch upon one of the most interesting topics uh, as far as low-level assembly application to InfoSec is concerned, which is polymorphism and polymorphic engines, right? This is a very hot topic when it comes to viruses, malware, or to create shell code, which is difficult to detect and fingerprint. Uh, once we are done with that, there'll be a bunch of exercises. I will share with you a mock exam and then you can actually give the certification exam if you so desire. Now, some of the videos, uh, basic theory ones, will be made available on Security Tube, uh, but most of the videos, exercise solutions, etc., are for registered students at this point. As a registered student, you would get HD downloads for all the course theory videos. Uh, all the exercise videos as well, because almost every theory video carries with it multiple exercises, which is where we will practically do a lot of interesting things. Uh, registered students also get PDF slides, all the assembly language code snippet, uh, little scripts which I use here and there to facilitate compilation, disassembly and all of that will be made available. In the end, you will also get a mock exam and the option to give a registered certification exam uh, after the whole course material, you've kind of gone through it and are comfortable. And if you pass the exam, you would get a PDF certificate. Now for this low cost course, there is currently no student forum available, uh, just like what we have for the GNU debugger expert course. Now it doesn't end here because you're obviously thinking 32 bit is just the beginning and you're absolutely right about that. Now once we finish the 32 bit course, we will also offer other affordable courses for 64 bit assembly on Linux, then 32 and 64 bit on Windows and even on ARM assembly. So stay tuned. This is all I had in mind for the security tube Linux assembly expert course and certification as introduction video. Click on the link below, which will take you to the registration page where you can register for the course. If you have any other questions, again, you can click on the same link and go and fill up our form and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much and have a great day ahead and hope you register and uh, you know enjoy this course. Thank you.